Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Video. I'm just going to sit here and chill with you guys and do a February favorites and um, I'm kind of pissed right now and annoyed with this whole thing. Not YouTube, but I'm not going to go into detail because you've already heard me bitch about the same problem over and over again. So I'm sure you're like, shut the fuck up. Tutorials that I planned on filming, actually that I had filmed and just couldn't upload them, couldn't edit them, couldn't do shit with them. So I'm kind of just frustrated right now. And so I'm just going to sit here and chill with you guys and kind of go over some of my favorites. So how that goes. And I'm sorry for this angle. You probably see all my nooks and crannies as far as my double chin goes. But I just wanted to sit down and chillax for this video. I didn't really want to bang out my tripod and all of that. So I'm just sitting in front of my window right now. I found a more flattering angle. I kind of figured out how to lift. So... I'm going to do a favorites for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like it. And if you have any questions or comments or if you like any of the things that I do, you can tell me down below. Because I always like talking to you guys and I like meeting new people and I like getting to know each other and supporting each other and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you like this video, please stick around, subscribe, and... I will see you in my next one. So my first favorite is just this sponge right here. And I probably should have washed it before I showed you guys. But this is just the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. And it's got like a flat end right here. And then it's got the pointy end. Now I like these more than the Beauty Blenders. Because the Beauty Blenders are $20. And this is um, like... Five or six dollars, maybe seven dollars with tax, but I actually got two of these in a package. There was a package deal, I'm not sure how much it was, but anyways, point is these are really inexpensive and they do the exact same thing in my opinion. I don't see the point in spending twenty dollars on a sponge when you can get this one for much cheaper. Plus I also like the flat end for putting foundation on, it's just because you can get into your creases more and then you can use this side. For concealer or anything you want to use it for so if you want to spend the money on a beauty blender I would definitely recommend checking out the real techniques I can never say this real techniques miracle sponge so my next favorite is just a classic that I've had for a while now um it is how I do my brows I mentioned it in my brow video and it's just the Anastasia dip brow pomade and I've never found anything to help me with my brows other than this. I've tried powders and stuff, but powders, I just, they look too powdery. Powders look too powdery. They look too powdery for my eyes. So I, um, I would just rather use this. And it's just like a gel consistency. And I just got a new one. Thank God. So I was like, you know what, let me bring it out to this favorites video. See why I don't like recording from my window? Do you see why? A gel like consistency. And if you are not a fan of like harsh eyebrows, which my eyebrows I don't think are very harsh, but if you don't like harsh eyebrows, you might not be a fan of this. I would try their powders. But I think Anastasia, she just sets the standard for her brows. I think. If you don't know what to do with your brows and you want to try something, definitely try her brand. It's just what I found works with my brows and I have used it ever since I found it, which was probably, what, a year ago? God, it's been a while, but I think ever since it came out, maybe. Maybe not that far back. Um, check it out if you, um, like I said, I have a brow routine if you want to see how I use the dip brow. So you can check that out as well. My favorite is an exciting favorite um actually it's kind of hard to talk about it because i just got this <laughs> like i just got this like i'm not like yesterday or the day before i just picked this up so this is the do the hula and it is the new benefit liquid hula bronzer and i was really intrigued by this because um i've always wanted to try like a liquid bronzer something that could do this but like in a liquid form and sometimes I don't always want to have powders because powders can sometimes fade and they don't show up on my skin very well. So it just looks like this. It comes with a, it comes with a pump. And you basically just squirt it. I'm just going to demonstrate for you. You squirt it 
here you can see that's how I do it. I squirt on the back of my hand and it just looks like that and then you just start blending it in and it looks kind of orange on camera but once you blend it out it looks like you have a tan basically basically it just blends out like this and it kind of just looks like I have like a slight self tan on and I put it on today and um, but I also have I also used it with my hourglass bronzer which I showed you guys in my last favorites and I just layered the two I put this down first and I just blended it in with like a kabuki brush and then I went in with um, the hourglass bronzer and just kind of topped it over there so it kind of added some more color and it stayed a little longer so, so far it's been on all morning and it has not faded which usually my bronzer because I'm oily it tends to fade but this one hasn't so I'm really loving this so far um, hopefully it stays like that I know sometimes opinions can change the more you wear it but so far it is a favorite of mine so check it out it's like $28 which I actually thought it was gonna be more expensive than that I thought it'd be like $35 $40 but no it was $28 so I would check it out if especially if you're like a lighter skin tone it really works now if you're darker I don't think this is gonna show up on you next I'm gonna show you three brushes that I have been loving this month I'm going to start with this face brush right here it's from the brand Emex design um, I got it for Christmas I'm gonna assume it's like an eBay brush like an eBay kit brush but it just looks like this it's kind of like a paddle brush like such and what I use this for is contouring, which I don't contour a whole lot because sometimes I feel like it's pointless with my round ass face. Like you would think you would contour more when you have a round face, but I feel like it just looks like I have a line on my face. I don't know. Sometimes I'm weird about it. Sometimes I'm like in the mood for it if I want to like up my look, I guess. But yeah, I have been using this brush and it has done wonders for me. It's just the perfect paddle size in order to fit under my cheekbones and then at the same time it's fluffy so you can as soon as you put it on you can go in and blend it out a lot easier than you would if you used like a flatter brush like something that was like really flat like the Nards Eater brush I feel like that'd be that would be like too sharp you can use this more of a natural contour so yeah um like I said I don't know where you can find this brush I mean you could probably this is what the the brand, oops, excuse me, this is what, no, uh, focus. Alright, I don't know if it ever focused, I don't think it did, but this is just Emax, E-M-A-K design. That's how you spell it. And so if you want to check it out, I think it came with a brush kit, I don't know if they come individually, but yeah, um, I'm sure it's pretty inexpensive. So you guys, two brush favorites are eye brushes. This one is the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Now I'm not sure when I first got this, it was kind of not stiff, but it was a lot. I thought it'd be like a fatter blending brush, but it was kind of more narrow than I thought. But that could be just because when I first got it, it's just a newer brush, so it does that. Now that I've, since I've used it, it has kind of fluffened out a little bit, but this has been my favorite for being, I have a Sephora one that I need to, but I like this for more precise blending because like I said, it's not as fluffy as my other one. It comes to more, not a point, but it's just, I don't know if you can tell. It's just, to me, it's more narrow than I thought. So I like getting, like, blending my crease out with this, and it has pretty much changed my eyeshadow blending drastically not drastically because you can use other brushes you don't have to use Sigma brushes but this one by far has been my favorite blending brush that I think I've owned ever but it is expensive and one thing about Sigma I feel like they never have discounts like they'll have like sale items but it's like on certain things that they put on sale but it's never like oh the whole website is this much off or a coupon code so um, I wouldn't, I'm sure Morphe probably has, like, dupes for this or that are less expensive. So I would check out Morphe, see what they have. But yeah, if you have the money for it, I would check out the Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush. And then the other brush I'm going to talk about is another... Ah. Okay, so I just noticed something. 
I have no fucking clue what this says. See, we're learning something new. So, um, the next brush I was going to talk about was the Flat Definer E15. And it's just basically a flat brush like this. And I just noticed something. There's like writing. It's not the Sigma, but the Sigma is on there. But there's writing on it. And I have no clue what it says. It's uncursive. Extra. I don't know. Stay in school, kids. I'm just kidding. I'm in school. It's just. I don't know. Anyway, so it had something written on it that this one doesn't, so I don't know what that's about. But anyways, moving on, uh, it's just a flat definer brush, and what I use this for, I used to use it to, um, like, smudge colors out. Not smudge them, but, like, put them more tightly in my waterline. But I started realizing that I love this more for, like, carving my brows out, which I actually didn't carve my brows out today, but I'll put concealer on the back of my hand, and then I will just go in and carve it out and I find this to be the best way to clean them up I used to use a, like a different kind of brush this one I find just it makes them more sharper than the other brush that I had the other brush didn't quite do it it did it but not quite this is if you I mean it's got multi-purpose so that's why it's a good brush to get if you decide to get it I would get this one for sure because you can use it for your lower lash line or you can use it for concealer to or you can use it to clean up your eyeliner just put some concealer on clean your liner up so yeah that's definitely worth trying out the Sigma E15 this is the this is an Ofra highlighter and I think yeah it's collaborated with dupe that I believe it's a popular Instagram page um, I'm not really familiar with them, but they collabed with Ofra Cosmetics and they created um, two highlighters. I have both of them. The other one's broken, which is the story of my life with highlighters, but it is a very warm orange, orangey peach. It's very, it's kind of reminds me of Champagne Pop, but a lot more peach and orange in it versus Champagne. Um, champagne Pop is a lot lighter. But it just gives you the prettiest golden, it gives you like a golden highlight. Let me just put it out and see. It's got, I don't know, it's really pretty, especially for like the springtime. And I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. And it looks just like that. And I really like this just because I like a lot of warmth on my face. I don't like... The other one I have is kind of a silvery pink color, which is very pretty as well. But I'm not sure how I feel about um, lighter colors on my cheeks. Sometimes I feel like it can make me look ashy, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I just like a warm face. That's why I like bronzer. That's why... Um, I like more golden highlights opposed to like cooler toned highlights. Not much to say about that other than it's so pretty. And I think I got it when Black Friday was going on and I'm pretty sure that I got buy one. It was like buy one get one, not buy one get one free. It was like buy one get one half off plus there was a coupon code so I got two of them for the price of one. So, but I think by themselves, they're probably around $25, which is half of the cost, or a little more than half, not quite half, of what a Becca highlighter is, and I think it's pretty good. So yeah, if you want to check out Ofra, and I don't know if I even told you the shade, it says, you do you. That's pretty clever. You gotta admit, that's pretty clever. That took me a while to, um, what's the word? love it I didn't love it at first I felt like it it really didn't do much for me but since I've been trying to contour more and stuff like that it's just the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and as you can see I used the hell out of the banana shade <laughs> it's like the only shade that I used to use out of here but when I contour I use these two shades at the bottom I just dab it in both and then I just go in and contour I don't necessarily always I don't really use this as a bronzer just because it's really dark if you can tell um, I feel like that'd be way too 
I mean, maybe not, but I feel like I would just look too dark and too orange. So I kind of try to stay away from that bronzer in particularly. But yeah, and then this, I mean, this is supposed to be like a like a highlight shade, but it like it doesn't do anything for me. It kind of disappears. So I don't know if I necessarily love the palette in whole, but I've been loving these two contour shades, and I've also been loving the banana powder. I think I've always loved the banana powder. So yeah, um, is it worth forty dollars? No, if I were you, I think she sells the refill pans. I would just get some of the pans and just put them in like a Z palette because the, um, some of these shades just don't do it for me. But yeah, <laughs> on the brighter side, there is three out of the six that uh, staple in a collection, I feel like. so. Alright guys, that is the end of this favorites videos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, spending some time chilling out with me, talking about a couple of makeup products. So yeah, oh, and I had one more thing that I wanted to throw in here. Um, it's like a quote. I guess you call it a favorite quote. And I put it in my binder. Um, it was actually a quote that I saw one of the employees, they wrote it on a piece of paper and stuck it at the register. And it was a quote by Steve Jobs, and it says, Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you want to truly become. And it really hits home with me because I've been struggling a lot with my head saying to do one thing, but my heart saying another thing as far as my career goes and college and um, stuff like that. So it's just, it's a daily reminder to follow your heart and follow what you truly want to do because in the end they know what you're going to end up doing, they know what you want to do. So yeah, that's just a quote for you guys to think about. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, stick around, see what's next. I do have my social medias in um, the, I don't want to call it the header, it's a, it's like where my picture's at, but the header of my YouTube channel. I have all my social medias there, so if you guys want to keep up with me, you can do that as well. But yeah. I will see you guys later. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Love you guys.